Hi, I'm Vince with Bridge Cable, and today we're going to go over what a heat map is. So basically, what a heat map is, is it just kind of shows you all your strong and weak points in your wireless in your uh, building. So all this is really going to do is, like, the green is good, and as you see, gray means there's no signal. Yellow, it's kind of weak. Orange, it's really low. And that's pretty much all it is, just to show you all your strong and weak spots so you know where to place more access points to get a better Wi-Fi signal. This is just one example of what we did at a warehouse in Bristol. Uh, and, uh, you know, regular warehouse, lots of racks and all. So I'm just going to kind of go over this with you. So after you do the walkthrough, like, first you start with a blank map. And then you kind of have to draw the walls and all on it. And then after you do that, you just kind of do a walkthrough and it'll measure all the Wi-Fi signal, give you estimates of where it thinks the current access points are by where a strong signal comes at. And it kind of just lays it all out in this nice little map for you. And then once you're done that, you get this nice little report here. Now this one is showing you without all the color in the way where all the access points are, green or old ones, reds are ones that we added. And this is kind of just your, your whole signal strength without all the clutter, makes it easier to see. As you can see, you got green, but you got a lot of orange, red, some blank spots where it doesn't pick up anything at all. And again, this is for the 2.4 gigahertz band, and it also does the uh, 5 gigahertz band, as you can see. Their signal on that was absolutely horrible. Right here, this is an important one, and it's showing how much interference they have in the signal. As you can see here, they, it's almost all white, so they don't have much interference except for right here and right here. Too much interference is not a good thing either. That can cause a lot of issues as well. So you, usually when there's a lot of interference, you just need to change like channels or something like that to uh, find a channel that no one else in the area is using. And that usually helps solve that problem. And also, it could be other things like high voltage, like air conditioning units in the way, things like that can cause interference as well. And one other thing I want to stress is uh, every client's going to be different. They're not going to, it's not going to look the same for everyone. You can customize what you want to see, what you don't want to see, and things of that nature. Other than that, and then at the end here, it gives you a nice uh, printout with all the MAC addresses of all the APs it picked up. So it should give you the AP name and the MAC address and any of the SSIDs that, that it picked up. And that's pretty much just about everything.